decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. To realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese, Komei Nakamura. Iron Chef French, Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese, Chen Kenichi. And Iron Chef Italian, Masahiko Kobe. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from around the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a Challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, the man said to have spread authentic Cantonese cuisine throughout Japan was Shu Tomitoku. He suddenly stepped down from his position of head chef of the renowned Akasaka Rikyu about a year ago. And since then, I seldom think of that restaurant's name. But recently, I see their name popping up in newspaper ads. They seem to mention in particular improvements to the flavor of their fried rice, a highly criticized Zhu recipe. I doubt that this blow to Zhu's reputation and fried rice is deliberate. Chef Zhu was a master at Cantonese cooking, but his expertise was in homestyle cooking. He did a fine job making modest homestyle cooking, and many of our customers liked that, but um, many didn't, telling us that we should serve more distinctive, higher class dishes and I tended to agree with them. The owner's words you just heard are reflected in the ads. Backed by the skills of a new chef, the owner himself discovered. And just how good is he? I most certainly must test this chef's creations with my own taste buds. Hailing from Hong Kong, today's challenger, the current head of Akasaka Rikyu, He Ye Win. He entered the field of cooking as a mere 15-year-old. He apprenticed at top restaurants in Hong Kong for more than 20 years, learning the basics of Cantonese cooking and steadily moving up the ranks in experience and expertise. He then was asked to head the kitchen of an exclusive club in Hong Kong. In 1995, he finally said yes to the owner of Akasaka Rikyu, who repeatedly requested he head their kitchen exclusively. There are many things that I've changed here at Rikyu. I just want people to know that it's better. His dishes speak of the depth of his training in Hong Kong the heartland of Cantonese food. So now, He, your claimed improvements will be put to the test here in my kitchen stadium. I'll win for sure.
富徳が去ったあの利休から新しい料理長がやってまいりましたその腕のほど得と見せてもらおうではありませんかさあ皆さん大きな拍手でお迎えください香港からやってきた関東の救世主赤坂利休総料理長ホッギョーブン From Hong Kong to Akasaka and now into Kitchen Stadium, the head chef of the renowned Rikyu, a chef who's ready to show us the heart and soul of Cantonese cooking. Hello, thank you very much. Shu Tomuteko is a kitchen stadium. Yes. 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 I want to welcome the three people of the kitchen stadium to the kitchen stadium. Let's welcome the Iron Chef! Welcome to the Iron Chef! Welcome to the Iron Chef! Now ascending in the kitchen stadium, the nation's culinary leaders, your Iron Chefs! Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi, Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai, and Iron Chef Japanese Komei Nakamura. Here they stand, the invincible men of culinary skills! それでは誰と戦いますかチェンさん please Yes sir a culinary clash in Chinese cuisine is what we'll see with Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi son of the god of Sejuan cooking Chen Kenmin he continues to raise the bar for those who would try and best him a full 60 minute man when he cooks but today an authentic Cantonese expert coming after him シュー富徳を上回ると噂される料理人の実力私は、シューが得意とするあの野菜で試してみることにしましたパリッとしていて包むことのできるあの野菜ですそれでは発表します今日のテーマはこれですWhat a matchup coming our way. A couple of Chinese cuisine masters break down straight ahead. Iron Chef Chen, Sejuan style against Challenger Hayes, Cantonese. We are set. Let's get it on. Bang a gong. We are on and let us begin with Chen. First one out of the gate and first one climbing the stairs up to the stand. And now here comes the Challenger Duck and mm -hmm. let us. And there are several varieties up there. Sure, we've got uh, five different varieties, actually. And the ones on top, the the ones that are perfectly round there, that's your iceberg lettuce, right. right? And around them, there's uh, endives, there's a curled leaf lettuce, salad lettuce, and also what we call in Japan sanchu, which is uh, often used for wrapping up like Korean barbecue. All like right, that. and with these two chefs, an all-Chinese cuisine affair, and just have a feeling here at the outset that this one is really going to be a barn burner. Chen already backed down, and... Starting to clean up the heads of iceberg lettuce. He's trucked back down. Here comes the challenger. He's loaded up with lettuce as well. Fukuzan? Yes, floor reporter Shintaro to go. Thank you. I've just been informed that the rice cooker on the challenger side has just been switched on. All right, right off the bat, getting that started. Want to lay a little uh, side wager that he'll be making a fried rice dish. <laughs> Want to see how he works lettuce in with that. And before we get too much further, let's meet our guests for today's battle. First, the actor who's played the role of a gourmet in a recent movie, Ichiro Zaitsu. Nice to have you here, sir. My pleasure. Should feel right at home doing this today. Oh, this is fantastic. And uh, it's been a while, but still looking as fresh as today's lettuce. Actress Mayuko Takata. <laughs> I'm honored to be here. Thank you for having me. All right. Yes. Yeah, I reported a moment ago that the Challenger's rice cooker had been turned on, and now we see the same thing has happened on the Iron Chef side. Got it. Oh, right. Ah. All, All right. right. Chen, battle cry, man is raring to go. <laughs> he is sounding fresh, too. Last time out, bit of a tester for Chen, but he ended up defeating Challenger Mori, an expert in all things cheese in the spinach battle. Remember that? Yeah. Running his record to four and two on the year. And uh, against other Chinese cuisine challengers, he's 12-2 lifetime outstanding record. Whoa, that's impressive. 
Okay, and uh, yes, yeah, so to go. As I asked on Chef Chen how he feels about lettuce, and he said, any way you use it, you have to deal with the moisture content. That'll be the key to all the dishes. And by the way, I am thinking about making a lettuce fried rice. All now. right, oh, Chen nice. could be offering some fried rice. Excellent, yeah. Now, and you know, using fried rice, it's it's kind of, it's very light and delicate dish, right? So it'll be good. I'm, ho I'm hoping he uses that. Okay, now, challenger side, chopping and slicing into this uh, mm, fish. Yeah. It looks like rockfish or something. I can't, really, I can't see the head from here, so any ideas? Okay, Yes. I asked Challenger Hay what he thinks of today's ingredient. He said, you cannot have Cantonese food without vegetables. And 20 years ago, using lettuce in a main dish became popular in Hong Kong. And I've been a chef for 30 years, so when it comes to lettuce, leave it to me. All right, thanks, Ota. Challenger Hay, beginning his apprenticeship at the age of 15 at a restaurant called Huzin uh, Cha Rao. Might be butchering that. Uh, excuse me, but he's got 30 years of experience. Yes. I also asked Iron Chef Chen to tell me about the restaurant that the Challenger heads. He told me that he went there when Zhu was head of the kitchen, but he hasn't been there recently. He says, I remember the great homestyle Cantonese cooking. <laughs> All right, homestyle is what he enjoyed, and that's what Zhu, almost a celebrity chef here, liked to offer. But now Aksakariku is going in another direction, and let's see the <laughs> chefs here, too. Simultaneously. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe going for reinforcements. Yes, Chen coming back with a couple of more heads. We've got some Sanju lettuce there, I think. Okay, <laughs> often used to wrap Korean style barbecue beef. <laughs> right, yeah. I wonder what the rush is all about. <laughs> no idea. Okay, <laughs> light bulb went on in I both men's heads. each other. <laughs> Backfield in motion to the back of the kitchen. And uh, back now from the stand. Challenger side here. He's got about five or six prawns still live. Kusan. Yes. Yeah, you were talking about the Iron Chef running up to get some more sanchu lettuce. And Chen San says he ran out of that particular type of lettuce because he's only using the stems and he's using a lot. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I didn't notice that. But he is. He's only using the stems. Now, mm -hmm. normally you do it the other way around, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Sure. But I, I guess he wants them for the texture or something okay. along those lines. Get that crunchy texture there exactly yeah and i think for the challenger yeah he's got some some shark fin oh, shark yes. fin isn't it i think uh -huh. Ooh. yeah and he's he's putting that on top of the prawn or the prawn dumplings with so them. that's yeah. what they're resting on shark's fin I, I think so yeah okay thinly sliced too mm, yeah. on. yes the items surrounded by the nest of shark fin are minced prawns and shrimp seasoned and coated with salt chicken consomme and potato starch wow what a combo okay so Just for like steaming maybe dumpling. yeah exactly that's, steam them you say that would be my guess sure yeah it's possible mm-hmm all right, and now the sounds of sizzle, deep frying action with Iron Chef Chen and chicken wings there. Oh, well, you're right, it is chicken wings, yeah. Well, you know, I think he'll combine them with the, with the lettuce and then stir fry the whole thing. That's that's where I think he's headed. All right, right now, so deep fry him and then stir fry him mm. to finish. And now challenger side, and let's see, I believe these are our pine nuts. Oh, uh, yes, yes, pine yes, nuts. Okay, yeah. challenger yeah. preparing some pine nuts there. Right. And looks like that's a broth or a soup. Yeah, it definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, what about here? Um, what is that? Oh, dried scallops. All oh, right. Okay, yeah. Okay. So I think this could be for his fried rice. It's like just another ingredient for it. So he'll, he's going to be using pine nuts and dried scallops in the fried rice. Yeah, well, I'm, I mean, I'm not sure. Okay. Obviously, but I think so. <laughs> scallops shredded, the dried ones. Yeah, okay, now hang on here. The Iron Chef, he's stir-frying the stems, right, of the of the lettuce first. He made them softer, and now he's throwing in the leaves, I think. So I think he's trying to cook them in order and make them the same. Yes. Yes, that's right. In Chen San's walk are the stems from the century lettuce and the leaves from the iceberg lettuce. Oh. Uh, Right, okay. and taking it off, and the stems and that one, and that's what he ran back up to the stand for. Right, get resupplied. Trying to control the textures. Okay, here, here yeah. challenger side. Um, oh, that's chili pepper. Oh, those yeah, are really hot. hot. Those are hot. <laughs> yes. Yeah, these chili peppers on the challenger side are from Thailand. Oh, okay, the really hot ones. Well, then. they might be even too hot for you, Zaitsu san. <laughs> yes, they will. Sometimes with the green peppers, though, you some you come across some that are not so hot. Right, but these are the steam kind of coming out of the years. Oh, okay, hot. thanks. <laughs> Don't want to lull anyone into a false sense of security. And now Iron Chef side. Oh, he's got some here. crab eggs. There. Are those crab eggs? Yeah. Yes. But these are actually grated carrots. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Not okay. even close. Sorry. Okay. okay. Grated How embarrassing. <laughs> actually, they look like crab eggs on the monitor, though. And they kind of do to me too. The color's just good. about identical. So we'll give you a pass on that one, all right? And Chen gonna use the carrots, grated and stir-fried. Now, challenger side, lid open, steam coming off the rice. That is done. For the most part, it's been all prep work. Hard to say so far how the men will be using uh, lettuce in their dishes they're making today. And now, challenger side, lid open, steam coming off the rice. That is done, but 
you know, for the most part, it's been all prep work, so hard to say so far how the men will be using lettuce, working it into the dishes they'll be making. Mm. I think it's because it's a delicate ingredient. They'll add lettuce at the very end before finishing, I suppose. Mm. So we won't find out till about the last 10 minutes or so. Ah, yeah, maybe so. <laughs> yes. As you notice, the Challenger's rice cooker is already open, and one of his assistants says that the rice is still a little hard as far as texture goes, which could be a sign that he'll be cooking it further in a frying pan or a wok as fried rice. Back to you. All right, so they add a little less water to the cooker to get the desired effect there. Right, that does sound logical. Sure. Okay, now, Chen, what's he got here? Uh, I'm saying carrots, oh, just so to be safe. <laughs> From earlier. <laughs> exactly. Okay, yeah. Perhaps a carrot Fukusan. soup on the way? Yes. Yeah, in this walk by the Iron Chef, he has a combination of long onions, ginger, shanton soup, and stir-fried carrots. All right, with shanton broth, it's got to be a soup. It's got to be. Got to be. Yeah. One dish from Chen will be a soup. Mm -hmm. And uh, check this mm -hmm. one out that right is there. That beautiful color, isn't it? Oh, now, yeah. how will he work in the lettuce? That's what I'm still trying to okay, figure out. Okay, we'll <laughs> give you plenty of time for that. Back with the challenger here, and I believe that is salt right there in the wok, going up close on that one. Um, yeah, it could be salt, sure. Okay, or the closest thing you'll ever see to it. <laughs> it yeah, it does look okay, like salt. Okay, and adding some powder there. Yeah, definitely not sugar. Uh, it, it's salt, I think. Right, but you know, before we say anything, let's check. Yes. <laughs> yes, you're all right. This is salt, and uh, when I asked the challenger what the salt was for, he said he's planning to use it in one of his fried dishes. Oh, I got it. You know, the, the salt and seasoning mix, it, a lot of times you, you dip fried items in before eating, like tempura, mm -hmm. things like that. Like sometimes yeah. with the pepper. Okay. Yeah. Salt and pepper mix. Because exactly. exactly. he's yeah. also added goko food to that. All right, okay. and that is... Well, it's kind of a generic name for a mix of five different spices. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, he's yeah. got the spice dip for that fried item done, and we've crossed the halfway point. 30 minutes gone, 30 to go. Still no idea of the roles lettuce will be playing in the dishes. Mm -hmm. Oh, look! Okay. Oh, okay, speaking of it, first time there. Oh, there. oh, crap, not with the chicken wings either, like I said. <laughs> Into the soup, okay. I All right, see. the All right. soup, uh, yeah. really, this uh, thickening up here with the addition of the lettuce. Something mm, like right. Chinese cabbage soup. Doesn't right. come in a can, but it is a chunky Chinese <laughs> lettuce soup. More like a stew. Do you stew? I, I would say it. Let's go with the stew, definitely. Okay, yeah. and just into the second half, and there's what looks to be a done deal, a stewed lettuce offering from Why Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi. One out of the way for him. Now, take a look at the Challenger. It's his steam dish here. Now, this will go into the soup, or, or the, was the ingredient mm -hmm. for his soup, I believe, right? I think that's All right, like and just like the song or the broken record, my era, you know, the question remains the same. <laughs> How will he work the lettuce in? <laughs> I know, I know. Back with Chen now, taking off the skin of those chicken wings. Okay, that's uh, actually, you know, it's got the best flavor right there. Ah, he could be using the skin only, like Peking duck. It's going to use the skin? Oh, rolled up in lettuce yeah, like you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sure, Okay, sure. interesting. Some situation substitution right there. Sure, if you cook it like Peking duck and then you just roll it up in the lettuce. Zaitasan like right. looks good, doesn't it? Oh, it looks fantastic, yeah. These would go great with the beer. I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm drooling right now. I wish I could cut my stomach open and, and show you how much my stomach is ready. Hey, hold on. I don't think we want to show that, Zaitsa okay. We are trying to whet appetites, not dampen them, but thanks for sharing anyway, okay? Now, look at the challenger. He's got some clams coated with flour, I think. Okay, it's coated with something, anyway. Right there. So perhaps frying? Okay. Think. Looks like he's getting ready for a little deep fry action with the battered up clams. And uh, right mm. there, yes, now deep frying them. So these clams Maybe for the fried rice. But you know, fried that sounds rice logical. is not the only dish. That's right, yeah, that's true. You won't be able to see any rice in that. <laughs> I tell you, I got fried rice on the brain. I, yes. I asked the challenger how many dishes you'll have today, and he replied confidently without any hesitation at all, four dishes. All right, a foursome. Four. Yeah, all right. Uh, I have an idea what one or two of them may look like so far, but two more are out there for the guessing. Somewhere, yep. Mmm, garlic being oh, fried. Oh, yeah. Mm. And Chen, yeah. with a taste what test of that do? one, several pleasing aromas wafting our way today. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. It's great. Fukuzan. Yes. Iron Chef Chen says the same thing. He says, honestly, I was rushing things in the beginning, so I want to settle down and do a good job on four dishes. I'm not pushing myself to go for five. All right, Chen concentrating on bringing four quality dishes to the table, and now this one here is a soup with shark's fin and mushrooms in it. But to echo your sentiments earlier, no lettuce yet. Of course What's not. <laughs> Going to leave us hanging longer, and now over to the challenger side, looking in here, he's got the peppers oh, in that with one. the hot stuff. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I believe right. there's a bit something else in there, too. For yeah. fried rice? <laughs> <laughs> we will have other dishes besides fried rice. And Chen now, Iron Chef, getting some liquid replenishment. These 
battles are like marathons. Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, the walk on the Challenger side with the chili pepper is just that so far. Just uh, chili pepper and garlic so far. Back to All you. Right now, right here, these are the... Those are the clam, the fried clams, hey, right? Hey, you know, he cooked them down pretty good. Right, and you know, that, that gives me a hint that it's probably going to be for the fried rice. We are back on the fried rice. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> okay, really? and adding the pine nuts there. Oh, okay. All Deep right. fried clams and pine nuts for fried rice. But what about the flower-coated clams? He did do that, right? Yeah. My question is, would that make it part of a fried rice dish? Okay. Yeah, you're right. That would, I'm sorry, I was wrong. Hey. You She's on top <laughs> of it. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to say he'll serve the clams in the lettuce bowl thing that he's got over okay, there. Okay, he's got something set up uh, like that so over there. So not fried rice, huh? <laughs> Basically, what I'm saying is, I have no idea. There's just too many choices here. Laid your money down a little too early. <laughs> I know. I know. And it looks like the Iron Chef is making uh, like a sour and spicy soup. Okay, here. and beaten oh, eggs yeah. added in. Mm, huh? yeah. Yes. The ingredients in the Iron Chef soup are shanton broth, maitake mushrooms, shark's fin, uh, Chinese rice wine, salt, soy sauce, red chili sauce, and loads of pepper. My, what a list. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think he'll pour this over the lettuce leaves just before serving. All right, so he doesn't want the lettuce to go soggy on him then. Exactly. All exactly, right, yeah. so that's done right there. One would think so, sure. Okay, back with the challenger. Challenger, hey. Oh, it's fried rice time. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Finally starting to make his fried rice. <laughs> okay. Well, we're not going to make any mistake about this now. It's definitely going to be fried rice. Cha-hun, who doesn't like it? <laughs> hey, but so far, no special ingredient, though, right? Could it just be eggs and lettuce? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, you know, I wouldn't mind that, but it and, seems uh, like... Well, speaking of Cha Hun, remember when Zhu Tomitoku beat Iron Chef Michiba? His fried rice was the dish that I got him the win that, that day. I remember that, yeah. Fukuzan! Yes? Up in the Royal Box, Mr. Nakajima, the chief manager of Akasaka DQ Restaurant, explained the difference between current head chef Hei and prior head chef Zhu, saying that in Zhu San's homestyle fried rice, the eggs and rice are sometimes overcooked, while Hei's fried rice should be better because it enhances the flavors of the natural ingredients without overcooking cooking them, he says that you'll be able to taste the difference. Okay, we hear him. Mm. Uh, of course, we'd expect that. No one's going to run down their own chef, if you know what I mean. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, now I think, Doc, you said you'd prefer this not to be loaded up with so many ingredients, right? I say keep it simple. <laughs> you keep contradicting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you keep changing sides all day. I know, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> Zaitsasan, what kind of things do you like in fried rice? I, I like just the really simple version. Okay, I'm just really... a straight ahead approach, and right. uh, I think we have a consensus here uh, on that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm going along with that one, too. Just the basic fried rice, the preference, just eggs in it so far, whoa, but now, whoa, hang on. Okay. Going into it's totally it. different from what we anticipated. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, he really should have some different things in there. What do you have? Yes, Hota? <laughs> yeah, I can tell you what's in there. The challenger just added ground beef, salt, and potato starch, and the ground beef has already been flavored with chicken consomme. Wow. Ooh, First time okay. to come across that, this effort coming from a veteran Cantonese chef out of Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Look, right. oh, adding lettuce. Oh, yeah. Yep, there fried it is. rice with lettuce, ground beef, and eggs. More backs at the stove there, working it in the wok and temperature rising, the fire hot. Wait, look at the volume he's got. There's there's more ingredients than rice in there. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. Would he add more rice? I, I don't think there's room for anything else in there. Taking it to the plates, that one is done too. Yes, look at the volume oh, of that. Wow. wow. Ooh, that looks so good. With scrambled eggs and like almost all fried rice has and yep. ground beef and lettuce. That's about as far as you want to go for adding ingredients to something like that. I gotta say though, that mound of fried rice looks pretty appetizing. Oh. Oh, right fantastic. there. And yeah. now Chen side, hey, looks like the Iron Chef is beginning the makings of some fried rice of his own right now. Oh, yeah. yeah, right. Exactly. A battle within a battle. <laughs> Starting with eggs and rice here. Okay. Just exactly like on the, the other side. So far, yeah. Right, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> but he's using a Western spoon. <laughs> hey, a different utensil for pounding down, breaking up the rice as it's cooked in walk there. Right, but Chen's a little better at doing that flip flop thing. <laughs> yeah, oh, yes. yes, quicker, yes. I suppose. <laughs> I mentioned to Iron Chef Chen that the challenger has already made fried rice, and he replied that that's why I'm making my own. Mine's better. With mine, I can't lose, and you know how I hate to lose. All right, Iron <laughs> Chef Chen, flip, flop, and fry. My fried rice against yours. We'll see which one the tasters like more. <laughs> oh. Okay, now, what did he just add there? Anybody Couldn't see, see what that no. was? Mm. Crab meat. Was it, was it crab, really? Crab. Yes, oh. crab meat. Oh, okay. oh, that matches really well with lettuce. That'll be crab perfect. Crab is great in fried rice, too. Mm, yeah. Challenger Hay is ground beef, the featured meat item in his fried rice, while Iron Chef Chen opting to cook his with crab meat and now adding some miso and other seasonings to complete the flavoring process. Lettuce and crab fried rice. Mm, yeah, sounds good. And the challengers is lettuce and ground beef fried rice. Right, right, correct. And again, we shall see which of the two finds more favor oh, with flavor. Oh, what's that in there? 
Um, it's got some green peas in there. Oh, okay. Oh, green it. peas, yeah. yeah. And with their addition, a little more in the way of assorted colors, but uh, still a lighter color than Challenger Hayes fried rice. Right. Yeah, but uh, the Challenger is very bold looking. Right, and he's also added some oyster sauce, I believe. Okay, there is again the Challenger's effort, and Chen down the hatch. He's been going nonstop the whole way. And Chen down the hatch. He's been going nonstop the whole way in this one. Oh, yeah. And bringing it back for more walk work, adding, what did, what did he add right there? Mm. Catch that? No. Too much, what? man. No. What? what was that? What? Oh, okay. Long Went a little onion. overboard on the yeah. long onions, but the Iron <laughs> Chef, look at him, wolf it down, and he likes it. And now, here comes the lettuce. Wow, oh, no, he is wrong. making this completely differently. <laughs> All right. Thin ones. Adding a couple of different cuts, different sizes of ones too. shredded lettuce, and uh, there to his fried rice, and giving it more flip flop and action. Yeah. Ah, yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, the Iron Chef added some thin uh, lettuce to that, but that was a mistake. He actually didn't want any of that in there. Well, <laughs> got to live with it now. You uh, could spend the rest of the time trying to pick out, remove the thinly sliced <laughs> stuff, but even the bigger pieces Chen's using are smaller than the lettuce that's in the Challenger's fried right. rice. Yeah, the Challenger's lettuce is square in shape. More differentiation then. Exactly, yeah. All right, and Chen unloading his fried rice, another dish out of the way. And let's see, there's a close-up shot of the Challenger's fried rice, very vivid Chris, colors. Oh, different, yeah. Yes. I asked the Challenger what he thinks of the Iron Chef making fried rice, too, and his answer was, I'm not going to lose my fried rice. is better. It won't lose. No way. He was dead serious when he said that. Well, who knows? This thing could very well be decided in how the tasters react to the fried rice offerings. These two guys, Chinese cuisine chefs, also a little neighborhood one-upsmanship at play. Akasaka, the area home to both Chen's restaurant and, of course, Akasaka Riku. Now, what's mm -hmm. this? That's uh, the skin or the chicken oh, fat. The chicken wings. Okay, yeah, yeah. from inside the wings. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, you kind of chop them up in small pieces. Okay, and they are down below underneath there, small bits of chicken wings, the fat, the skin, you say? Okay, and they weren't wrapped up in lettuce like we first thought. You see, it, it's, it's really hard to predict things here. I'm, I'm sorry. It does have some <laughs> colorful appeal, and now still on Chen's side here. Um, oh, melon, is it? Melon. Is it? Okay, and looks to be ready to combine it with something else. I also see some dried cranberries as well. Mm. Yes. What they're extracting from this jar is marmalade jam. Mm. Okay. Marmalade. And huh. Marmalade and something else, too. Um, like dried cranberries. Right? All right. Ah, Going to okay. mix it all up. Mm -hmm. and, and the dried cranberries right there. Right, yeah. yeah. Those are actually very, very good. And chopping up a papaya, oh, I yeah, believe. Oh, yeah, papaya. All being mixed up. And I tell you, don't ever recall any assortment like that ever being combined around here. And now, Challenger side soup is done. Lettuce soup with shark's fin and the shark's fin surrounding a prawn dumpling. That'll be a treat. Oh, boy, that just looks so good, oh, doesn't it? fantastic. And now, just fine-tuning to get how he wants the shark fin dumpling piece positioned in the soup. Right, he wants it. To, to be on top, so it's oh, yeah. visible for the tasters. All right. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you want people to see it. Could of be worth a point in the scoring. Sure. Because I'm, yes. It was Iron Chef Chen. Uh, no. Yes. Yes, it was Iron Chef Chen who said he was only going to have four dishes, and but now he says he's going to make a dessert. He says no problem. I can do five dishes. He's really fired up. All right, mm. Chen, putting it on overdrive. He's about a mover there. Going to get a dessert or try to in the last few minutes. The fruit combination. Going to cook that one up now. Look oh, at that. Oh, dear. Oh, oh boy. He is cooking them. Marmalade in there. Melt and lettuce at the side, I, boiling, yes. I'm told that the ingredients that went into the Iron Chef's wok were lemon, uh, sorry, melon, marmalade, dried cranberries, and papaya. That sounds like a new mix of jam. <laughs> and he's boiling it all down. Right, yeah, with oh, marmalade yes. in there, interesting. Uh -huh. A flavor condensation act taking place over there from the Iron Chef and now on the Challenger, a stir fry in progress here. Oh, that was the, the rockfish. Uh, the one we saw in the beginning. Right, yeah. Okay, yeah. this is what he's been waiting to do with it. Yes. Yeah. These ingredients in the Challenger's wok are being flavored by La Jaja on a hot and spicy Sichuan touch that takes a jab right at Iron Chef Chen. Take mm. that Iron Chef <laughs> Challenger going with La Jia Jia. Right, that's that hot chili and a miso paste. Taking it right at the Iron Chef. He's a Cantonese cooker, but he's not going to concede the hot and spicy turf to Chen. He's going to battle him there as well. Oh, hey, take out the sun. Take a look at this. He's coating these. Oh, check it out. I know. This could end up like a crepe in style. Lettuce crepe? How's that sound? I've never even heard of anything like that before. <laughs> <Neither> have I. <laughs> Guess it will have to be the last dish served, right? I would suppose so, Couldn't yeah. go anywhere else. <laughs> no, that's true. And Chen now rolling his own lettuce crepes. And on the other side, lettuce bowls being offered by the Challenger. Mm -hmm. And the bowls filled with a bevy of items, including, let's see, the fried clams and pine nuts are in there. Right, that correct. assortment. Mm -hmm. And just a little smattering of uh, shredded lettuce in there as well, this dish by the Challenger. Right, and this would be an appetizer. Okay, we'll find out if that's the way he wants to start out. And uh, look, no activity now on that side. Looks like they are done.
Oh, they're finished already? Apparently so, with a little over a minute left. And now, Chen, that's his crepe, I believe, looking more like a rose right here in the cocktail glass. And now a minute to go, final 60 seconds. Iron Chef wrapping it up literally, while Challenger Hay has got all his work done, not even any last-minute finishing touches. Chen's been there, done that, so he knows how to take it right to the end of the cooking time, even getting a dessert started and done in the last five minutes. While the Challenger is coasting to the finish, Iron Chef Chen trying to win his 13th battle and 15 starts against a Chinese cuisine chef. They've not been bashful about coming after him, but it's no understatement to say he has dominated the competition. 15, 15 seconds, seconds left now and looks like Chen is done and taking a couple of gulps right there. Go. Well earned, the Iron Chef, another route going effort, completing all of his dishes Five in time. Seconds. Challenger Hay got his Three, in as well with plenty two, of time to spare. Final one. seconds tick down and that's it. The lettuce battle is over. You finished early, but how did you like Kitchen Stadium? Today's dishes were mostly simple, so cooking was not so difficult for me. And you're confident that you'll come through with a win? Well, I think I'll be okay, I hope. Well, how was this hour? Well, that was the first time I ever made that dessert. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there is no dessert using lettuce, you know. Yeah, I've never heard well, of it. It could any. be good, but I don't know. So you think challenging new things is what counts? Uh, okay. I did my best. All yeah. right. Challenger Hay is offering four dishes. First, Lettuce soup with prawn dumpling and abalone rolled in shark's fin. A clear and flavorful Cantonese broth highlights the lettuce, which still maintains its firm texture. Second, fried clams and lettuce. The refreshing and subtle flavor of lettuce heightens the body of fried clams. The pine nuts add a pleasing contribution to the aroma of the dish. Third, rock cod and lettuce stir fry. The level of heat used was just right as the lettuce has absorbed the flavors of the rock cod and takes center stage as the main ingredient. Last, his lettuce and beef fried rice. The lettuce still retains some moisture even though the fried rice is finished with a crispy touch in a dish which shows his skill at harmonizing all the elements. Iron Chef Chen is offering five dishes. First, iceberg and chicory salad. The deep fried fatty skin of chicken wings adds an interesting twist in both flavor and texture for enjoying lettuce in a salad. And a wonderful sweet sauce adds depth to the refreshing opening dish. Second, cutting lettuce and carrots and crab sauce. This one's flavoring uses one of his father's recipes and smartly combines the stems of cutting lettuce and leaves of iceberg lettuce. Third, spicy lettuce soup. This one should get the taster's attention, a spicy soup loaded with peppers. And while it also has a good number of prawns and scallops, the crispy lettuce added to the soup come serving time will stand out as the featured item. Fourth, lettuce and crab fried rice. The textures of green peas and long onions work to accentuate the flavor of the lettuce. And cooking out the excess moisture from the lettuce was the key to this one. Last, fruit in lettuce. Chen wraps it up quite literally with the dessert using lettuce, taking a mix of chopped melon and papayas wrapped in two layers of lettuce, one boiled, the other fresh. Ju Tomitoku, the man who spearheaded the introduction and spread of authentic Cantonese cuisine throughout Japan. His successor as head chef of Akasaka Rikyu possesses the skills to take the cuisine even further here. Today's challenger, Hei Ye Wen. He's primed for a classic Chinese cuisine battle against Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi. Chairman Kaga unveils the theme ingredient. It's good to cook the green, green leaves of lettuce. And challenger Hei exhibiting total command finishes a fine looking four dishes. Iron Chef Chen, hard charging, creative stroke at the end, finishes with five. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today for the lettuce battle are novelist Tamio Kageyama, actress Mayuko Takata, actor Ichiro Zaitsu, and culinary critic Asako Kishi. First, the dishes of Challenger Hei. Oh. Frankly, I had thought that the flavor of the lettuce would be overpowered in this dish. But when I tasted it, the lettuce really stood out. With a lid off came the wonderful aroma of the soup. 
The crispiness of the lettuce is a refreshing addition. I've never had shark's fin wrapped around shrimp like this. Such a delicious texture. Very sumptuous. Mm. Quite spicy. It's um. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, much spicier than I thought it would be. It's quite dry. I, I mean, the clams inside. Very dry in terms of flavor. The harmony with the lettuce, though, is fantastic. And the presentation is really nice, the gentle curve that wraps around it. If these two were placed side by side, I think it would be totally different. Now the third dish coming, his stir-fry with lettuce and rock cod. The texture of the lettuce is great. Um, let us just say I'm enjoying listening to the crunch, crunch, crunch. And the fish. The rockfish is tender enough as a backdrop, allowing us to enjoy the crispy texture of the lettuce that you have. This dish is all about the texture. I'm really enjoying the feel of it. You know, when the fish is wrapped in the lettuce, it tastes nice and melty inside and crispy on the outside. It's really nice. Hmm. This is the best lettuce dish I've ever tasted, really. This fried rice is great. The moisture of the lettuce doesn't harm the texture of the rice. But if I may, I wish I had more lettuce in it, if this were to be called lettuce fried rice. The texture of the lettuce is nicely utilized. But I agree, you could have used more lettuce. After all, lettuce is today's theme. Even discounting for the fact that I skipped dinner before the show, <laughs> I was really moved. You know, if there are aliens out there somewhere on Pluto or something, I feel like delivering this food to them is representative of our great Mother Earth. <laughs> and now up the dishes of Iron Chef Chen. The stems of the cutting lettuce are just a hair wilder than Shanghai cabbage because of the fiber, while the common ordinary garden variety lettuce here is gentle and soft in this dish. The sauce is a masterpiece. Right, I agree, it's a masterpiece. You know, if this were French food, I'd use the bread to soak up all the sauce on the plate. Thanks. Excuse my doing this? I know this is absolutely vulgar. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Shin shim. <laughs> the aroma is very nice. I'm quite familiar with regular hot and sour soup, but this is different. The pepper itself is so different from the others I've had. As I'm eating it, I'm hit by many different flavors, you know. <laughs> The pepper. <laughs> Sorry about that. A little too hot. It's like I'm being attacked by a barrage of flavors. Stimulates your perspiration, eh? Too strong, eh? Too much spicy. <clears throat> For me, yo. <laughs> the use of green peas and long onions, in my opinion, was really quite effective here. The challenger's fried rice was a bit oily. This is easier to eat. This is very refreshing. Different from your personality. Me? <laughs> of course I'm kidding. This is great. Really delicious. Thank you. I like this fried rice better. But the soup, the challenger soup was subtle, almost gentle. It allowed the lettuce to be just that, lettuce. This tastes good. Mm. I hear what you're saying there. I hear you, but... Uh, I'm known for that by now. <laughs> but you didn't step over the line here. Yeah, thanks for saying that. The lettuce leaves taste like fruit. Really very refreshing. I love it. Like melon. Oh, yeah, like melon. Today, we're talking about lettuce. And you tackled it well, I think. Even with a, you know, a fairly intricate dessert, which, as you admit, was quite a gamble. Yes, quite a gamble, that's for sure. 
Nice shot. Nice shot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Let us battle, wrapping it up with the verdict when we return. と、せ。先頭関東が激しくぶつかり合った今日の対決。二人の料理人の技はレタスという素材を使ってしっかりと審査員の心を包み込んでしまったようです。それでは発表します。Today, an intra-Chinese cuisine battle with a couple of star chefs with restaurants near each other in Akasaka. Challenger Hei showing he can fill the giant shoes of Zhu. Iron Chef Chen, once again, can he defend? Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? Tetsujin Chen Kuch! It's the Iron Chef Chen winning it and extending his dominance over Chinese cuisine chefs. The victory over Hei, the Cantonese master from Hong Kong. Great battle. Men put in a bit of a bind with lettuce, but Chen emerging the victor. All right, the score is Kageyama 19-18 Iron Chef, Takata 20-19 Iron Chef, Zaitsu 20-19 Iron Chef, Kishi 19-17 Iron Chef. A clean sweep, no ifs, ands, or buts, and Chen's got to be feeling pretty good with this win against such a strong opponent. And neighborhood bragging rights too for Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi.